program is the name of our transition program here at McHenry High School, District 156. Every district has a transition program and ours is named Bridges. I think the Bridges program is a place for students to come after they have finished their high school requirements and they can come pick up some of the skills that they haven't quite mastered yet. Um, skills like vocational skills, um, hygiene skills, daily living skills. The Bridges program, the way I see it is, it's a program to allow our students a little more time to launch. Like it's for our students that are 18 to 22, and they come here and we talk and experience everything with them. We don't necessarily focus on academics as far as science and math, other than obviously math is uh, budgeting. We're gonna learn how to count back change correctly. It could be recipes, it's just all functional academics. All of our students are working or learning work skills, vocational skills in one way or the other. Depending on the level of independence that they already have, kind of um, decides how they're gonna go about working at jobs or vocational sites. So some of our students um, aren't able to be independent at a work site yet. So they go with their class as a group to a site and they have um, their teacher or a job coach there uh, to support them. We also have work sites around town where students are more independent and their teacher or job coach just check in on them randomly, but they're able to perform the job duties independently. Um, right now we have cabs then that take our students, our less independent students, and bring them to a vocational site as a group. Then we also have more independent students and they learn how to use MC Ride. MC Ride is our local um, transportation in McHenry, and typically it is PACE, but if you are 65 or older or have a disability, you then can use the MC Ride portion, which allows you to schedule a ride seven days in advance. I would like to schedule a ride for next Thursday. Between nine thirty, nine and nine thirty, and they plan their rides, and then they take the MC Ride bus to their vocational sites, and they work there independently. We go to Walgreens. Walgreens has partnered with the Bridges program eleven, twelve years now, um, so they have been a, a wonderful to partner with all these years. Our students at Walgreens learn how to stock shelves. Um, they learn about outdating, which is going through um, vitamins and food to pull out anything that is going to expire by a certain date. Hi, I'm John from Lockers Flowers in McHenry, and I'm here with Seth from the Bridges Program from McHenry uh, High School. And we have had a numerous young adults from the program, and we are always very excited to have them. Lockers Flowers, um, that is newer to us. We started working with Lockers Flowers last school year, so this is our second year partnering with them. They've been wonderful though. We've been partnering with Goodwill for a long time also, and Goodwill has their own program within it called the Let's Go to Work program. Um, so they interview students every year or two. They'll also ask for some students that are interested in working and we get them set up. And then if they are hired at Goodwill, Goodwill then provides full-time job coaches. So that is absolutely wonderful for our students that don't ever make it to that full independence. ReStore is another um, place that we've been going for years. They have been great to partner with also. And there our students um, also learn, use our cleaning skills, our stocking skills, and they also put together furniture and different things like that in the back when um, chairs or stools are brought in and not put together yet. A lot of our students will do that. Um, yes, the Hampton Inn. That's a place where we get to go as a group for some of our students that aren't as independent. And so together they go there and they work on their vacuuming skills and cleaning windows.
they do laundry, um, folding towels, and these are all job skills and jobs that um, they will be able to go out one day and hopefully get on their own and have um, be paid employees. Slabs is also an excellent partner, same idea. Yes. They uh, partner with, uh, with us to help, we get to help set up tables and chairs and really utilize teamwork as well. Because it takes the whole group in order to make sure things are done efficiently. I don't want to talk about growth, you can see it. it the, the, it's so much more efficient by uh, the end of the school year as far as like, what does it look like? What's our plan? They have their roles and they just go and they do them. Water Street Shop. Yes, there um, our students are learning about inventory a lot there. And so I know that they work with checking the inventory every week, putting the products out on the displays, and light cleaning they do there. Yeah, mini tie-dyed items. I bought a couple of onesies for my grandkids, so I highly recommend that place as well. I believe it was spring of 2012. I got my first student and I like to say it and it was the second employee that I hired or had um, and it's it's just been phenomenal I'm not sure how many I've had I want to say 10 to 12 I I love giving back to the community the program um, the kids have been awesome the people that have been involved with the program have been awesome I've gotten a lot more out of the program than I feel like I've, you know, given. So it's just been unbelievable. My job is, my, I love my job, you know, and my, my job coach is super, super nice and everybody's super nice here. Um, everybody helps me here. Um, I just like being here and it's, it's, it's a nice program to be here. So, well, I was going to do the way you go while I roll the ball. While I roll the balls, um, I personally like 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 rolling the dough. And pizza is the base is the best pl place to work at. Bridges is I, it's like a life lab. Like every day we are practicing what life is. We go into the community. We go and exercise. We go do yoga. And I think about cooking. Now, when do you learn how to cook? Every day you see what they're learning. And it's kind of exciting, right? Yes. Wouldn't you very say it's, exciting. Would you say it's rewarding? Very. It's the most <laughs> rewarding job I've ever had. And then I think it's also important for the community, businesses, everybody, to know that um, there are adults in our school system, in our community, that might need a little extra help, but that are excellent workers and have so much to give back to the community. Um, they're intelligent, they're loving, they're kind, they're hardworking. And I think so much of that can be overlooked by only seeing what they can't do. And they actually can do more than they can't do. So we are extremely grateful for all of our community partners, whether they be businesses, individuals, um, just volunteers that want to be involved in affecting young men and women's lives. Um, if you're someone that owns a business or is interested in partnering with us, please contact us. We have so many students that are ready to work. So contact us if you want to get involved.